Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies. And today is May 16th. And this is a wood hyacinth or an English bluebell. And the leaves came up almost a month ago. And you have to look way, way down in there to see the flower that is going to come out. Now, I have been looking and checking that flower, it seems like forever. Now I know it's gonna come up, it will come up. I have to be patient though, because this has been an extra cool spring. We just had, here it is, May 16th, and we've had freeze, freezing nights, several freezing nights in a row. And I'm hopeful that it's going to stay warm now and we're not going to have any more freezing nights, but I'm not going to count on it. Anyways, my wood hyacinth is um, a really lovely flower and I like it better than grape hyacinths, which are much smaller and have kind of grass-like leaves and they're almost invasive once you have them and they seem to come up everywhere. And I like them better than the hybrid hyacinth you get at Easter time because they are so thick and full and kind of overwhelming in their fragrance and everything about them. But these are more of a woodland, simple flower. The, you can see the stem through the little um, trumpet flowers. They're not so tightly packed in there that you can't see them. And that makes them, I think, look very graceful. The, the heads on the, each little individual flower um, tips down as it matures, and it's, it's really a beautiful little flower. So I do enjoy them when they come. But today in the reading in Romans, I came across a verse that had hope written in it five times. And I was taught by a wonderful Bible teacher that if you see a word repeated multiple times in a verse, pay attention to it. So that's why I wrote it out. And it says, for in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what he already has? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Paul's devotion today is a poem that talks about a table of mercy and grace that God prepares for us. I am looking forward to the day when my wood hyacinths bloom, but I really hope for the day when I can sit at the table of mercy and grace that the Lord has prepared for me. Thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you to maybe do some Bible journaling and to use what is happening in your life to make God's word come alive to you. So take care and God bless.